Hi, everyone. I'm Omar Villafranca. We have some news out of Washington, D.C. The House of Representatives has just voted to increase the next round of stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000 and are on their way to override the president's veto of the National Defense Authorization Act. Now, for more on this, I want to bring in Siobhan Hughes. She's a Capitol Hill reporter for The Wall Street Journal. Thank you for joining us, Siobhan. First of all, the House voted to increase the next round of stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000. We've seen a lot of tweets in the last few days from the president. How likely is it that Americans will see $2,000 stimulus checks in the next coming weeks? There is virtually no chance that will happen. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has not promised that there is going to be a vote. Mr. Schumer of New York has indicated he's going to try to push for a vote tomorrow when the Senate convenes, but that's not likely to happen. All it takes is a single Republican senator to get up on the floor and say, I object. So as of now, the prospects for a Senate vote, much less that increase to $2,000, are very, very dim. So at this point right now, of course, it's got to go to the Senate, as you just mentioned. They've also uh, done a little bit more work in the House today. They voted to override the president's veto of the National Defense Authorization Act. Remind us again why the president vetoed the bill and, and, and explain what the override means. Well, this is setting up likely the very, very first override of President Trump's entire presidency. The reason the Senate is in tomorrow is specifically to override his veto of this must-pass defense authorization bill. The president had had a couple of different objections. Number one, over Confederate bases. He didn't really appreciate the removal of the names of Confederates from those bases. And he also had problems over the omission from this bill of some Something called Section 230. This is the provision in the law that shields social media companies from certain types of lawsuits. It gives them, in a lot of ways, carte blanche to publish things and put out content that the president disagrees with. And so those were really his two issues. Um, let me ask you this just before we have to go. Why? Besides those two issues that you mentioned, is there anything the president was trying to get from this? Whatever the president was trying to get, and it, it, it's, he certainly has not succeeded, the uh, appearance is that the president is frustrated that he lost the election and he is going to make life as uncomfortable as possible for people as he exits. There was no pathway for him to achieve any of these goals. Um, in the dwindling days of his presidential term. And so it was more a gesture than anything of substance.